Hello, Rosie. And hello to the viewers at home. How are you doing? It's good to hear that. Hopefully you are well. Where are we today? <laughs> We're at Holbrook. <laughs> I'm going to stop making jokes. I'll make myself laugh, even if you guys aren't. But here is the HMAS Otway at Holbrook, New South Wales, and it is a subway. A uh, subway. <laughs> it's a six foot sub. <laughs> <laughs> it's the adopted home of the Australian Submarine Squadron, which is bizarre because it's like seven hours drive from here to the ocean. So, I don't know. They've done well to run this thing from the ocean up here into this park. And they've hit a patch of concrete this way, Rossi. Come on. Quick. It would appear as though they have hit a patch of wet concrete and are now stuck here in this park. And, yeah, it's good. For, for finally for something that you can do you can go on for free so you can climb on this Rossi didn't like climbing on it I wonder what's up in here I don't believe you can go in this hello what's in there oh you can get that far down in there and if we have a look in through the holes in the sides it's only half a submarine right it's full of garbage but obviously the main pressure vessel part where you live the bit where you live is not in there anymore and what's this called a conning tower i believe it's a conning tower here look read this it's hilarious Oi. you can use this outdoor area but do so with caution maximum of 10 people allowed on the deck at any one time wash your hands before and after climbing the submarine assume the person before you has the virus the Lyris, the old Lyris, everyone's got the Lyris apparently, but here is some other bits. I don't know if those are torpedo head bits or if they are the nuts off the propellers, quite possibly. Interesting logo, red and white. You know, apparently it's meant to be a boomerang by the look of it and an O, but it could also be square and compass. We do know they like to keep the square and compass all over the place. So, I don't know what this is. I guess, I have no idea what this is. This is where you put money. They want money off you. They always want your money. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little cafe over there. The maskies wanted me to mask up, so I left and bought my food elsewhere. So we don't play those games, do we, Rosie? We are not encouraging nor supporting the New World Order because if they can afford submarines, they can afford two bucks. I'm not paying them. And the same over here, we'll go have a quick look. This is the Submarine Museum, right? Now, I would really love to go in here. You come across this little path. And what do we got over here? Stop, gentle Rosie. Oh, of course, the pyramid. This is the same as what's on top of the Parliament House. Exactly like that there with the flag sticking out of the pyramid. All right, so anyway, here we go back. Here's the arse end of another submarine over here. Now, they've got these propellers. Surely these are not genuine submarine propellers. And I don't reckon they are. I reckon these are dodgy mock-ups and they've sold the brass off the real ones, or the bronze. And then they've got these made of steel. Because I was looking like this triangle part, this can't be any good for you hydrodynamics right I'm like, i've never seen a thing propel a lot that and then it's flat and it's, it's dodgy but then they've got a really nice stainless steel bit on the end so i reckon those bits back before in the ground were the nuts who would know this is the stern of the pressure hull it contained two torpedo tubes and some <laughs> hydraulics right you got this bit over here that's another conning tower off some other crappy submarine back in the day and in here you can experience australia's submarine history <laughs> we have a shit history <laughs> all the submarines from elsewhere got in and the ones that we built the collins class they all filled with water they were crap as far as i know i don't know much about submarines but you can look through the hmas otway's working periscope you can explore the oberon class submarine and they have an amazing hologram show. So don't believe everything you see. It's likely a hologram. And it's seven bucks, but I'm not paying these guys seven bucks. They have all the budget in the world to go and kill people 
for submarines and I'm meant to pay them seven bucks to look at it. No, thank you. Rightio, that's it. We're out of here. Quickly read this. The Holbrook Submarine Museum control room, stern section and visitor information center. It's opened on May 2007. The Honourable Susan Lee, MP member for FARA, this facility was made possible with generous support from Department of Transport and Regional Services. Blah, blah, blah. Rightio, that's it for the Submarine Museum. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And we'll see you next time, Trade Travel Troopy. Bye bye.